Okay, I'm going to show you how to make this puff stitch cowl. Okay, I used the Hometown USA and it is a bulky yarn, which is called a sea foam, Miami sea foam. And it has five ounces and 81 yards. I used two of these for 10 rounds. If you go up to 12 rounds or more rounds to make this a big cowl for a chain of 56, you'll have to use two and a half of these if you use this type of yarn. You have to um, use two and a half uh, balls of yarn here. And for this type of cowl, it's nice to use a bulky yarn. So the puff stitches really stand out. And I'm using an N9.00mm hook. And I'm gonna show you how to get started. Slip knot onto your hook and I'm going to chain 56, but you can chain around that number. It just needs to be an even number. So um, once you do your chain and then you connect it with a slip stitch, see if it fits around your neck comfortably. So yarn over, chain one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to continue on for a chain of 56. Okay, so now you have your chains and you're going to connect them. You're going to connect them with a slip stitch. Place your, insert your hook in that last chain, that beginning chain and yarn over and then slip stitch into this last and then beginning. So you're going to take this loop and pull it through. So now you pulled it through and now you have your cowl circle here. If you feel like you need a bigger one, I would chain more. It just needs to be an even number. You don't want it too big, but you don't want it too small either because you want to be able to take it off your head. So now you're going to chain two. One, two. This is just going to be your ending chain and it doesn't count for anything. You just will be slip stitching at the end here to connect. So now this first chain, which is your one, two, three, third chain from the hook, you're going to yarn over and you're going to start your puff stitch. You're going to create this puff stitch with nine loops on your hook and then pull through all nine loops. So we're gonna start off with one yarn over and end with four. So we have yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn and pull up. You're gonna pull up somewhat nicely, not too tight, not too loose. And then you're going to yarn over and insert the hook in that same chain, grab the yarn, and then pull up again. Now you have five loops on your hook. You're gonna do that again, yarn over, grab the yarn, and pull up. And now you have seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on your hook. And now you're going to do it one more time. Insert your hook, grab the yarn, and pull up. Now you have nine loops on your hook. This is your puff stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now you're going to yarn over and pull through all these loops. I like to grab the puff stitch and then tightly run this loop all the way through. Sometimes it does get a little stuck. You just have to keep pulling it through. So now that's pulled through, you have your puff stitch and you need to complete it with a yarn over and a chain one. So yarn over and then chain one. You just completed your first puff stitch on your cowl. Now you're going to skip the next chain. This is your chain and you're going to create a puff stitch in the next. 
skip, puff stitch, skip. So I'm going to show you again. Yarn over, skip, and then in the next chain, create a puff stitch again. Yarn over, pull up the loop, yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn and pull up. You have five loops, yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull up. You have seven loops, yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn and pull up. And now you have nine loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all nine loops. And you're going to yarn over and chain one. And now you have two puff stitches on your chain. You're going to yarn over, skip, and create another puff stitch. You'll do this, re you'll repeat this pattern all the way around until the end. You can do this up to about 12 times, so 12 uh, rounds or for your desired length of this cowl. So that's two, three, four. So you have nine loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all nine loops. Chain one. Okay, so now you're just gonna repeat this all the way around to the end. Okay, you're at the end here. <clears throat> you're gonna go into your one, two chain. So your second chain, you're going to yarn over and slip stitch. So you just pull through this last stitch here. And you have all your puff stitches on your cowl chain. And you're gonna start your second round. You can do this up to 12 rounds or so, depending on your desired length and thickness. So you're going to start again with a chain two. And then you have this first chain here and you're gonna work that puff stitch again. So you're going to slip stitch in that first chain. So here's your puff stitch, here's that first chain. You're gonna yarn over and create that puff stitch again. Three loops on the hook, yarn over. You have five loops, yarn over. You have seven loops, yarn over. And now you have nine. You're gonna yarn over and pull through all nine loops. Now you have, I chain one at the end. And then in this next chain, so you skip, this is a chain, chain one, you skip. Then you go to this next chain and create the puff stitch again. So you're gonna yarn over and draw up nine loops, so that's two, three times, and then four for nine loops on the hook. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then yarn over and pull through nine loops. And then you're going to chain one and that creates another puff stitch. Then you go skip this one and go to your next chain and you just repeat this all the way around for your second round. And then your second round, you're gonna repeat that round up to 12 times that second round. So you're just gonna keep creating your puff stitch by inserting your hook and grabbing that yarn four times with nine loops on the hook. and then chain one, and then just repeat that around. And just repeat in the next and the next, and then you'll slip stitch in this chain two. Okay, I'm at the end here, and you're gonna take your hook and slip stitch on top of that chain two. Now, you have this stitch, but then you have this chain two. You're not gonna work another puff stitch here. You're just going to slip stitch on top of 
your chain two. <clears throat> and if you chained 56, you should have 29. You should have 29 <clears throat> puff stitches. And then you're going to chain one. And pull through. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. So twenty twenty-nine puff stitches, and then you're gonna weave in your ends. And when you weave in your ends, you can use a smaller hook. I'd say give yourself about a nine inch tail to weave in your ends. So I'm just gonna use a smaller hook to weave in those ends. Or you can even use <clears throat> if you can, you can even try to use your your big hook. And you can just weave it in and out. And then go underneath. You can even, that's when you can take a smaller hook and weave in your ends back here so nobody can see them. Okay, and this completes the puff stitch cowl, and if you have any questions, please ask, or please subscribe if you haven't already.